Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have my post review video of Luna Moth Witch by Diamond Art Club. The artist is Rita Kanya slash Aria Illustration. Um, I know she goes by Aria Illustration on Instagram and a lot of her newer Diamond Art Club pieces are labeled under Aria Illustration, but this one specifically was labeled under Rita Kanya. Um, I'm not sure necessarily what the difference is. Maybe she rebranded at some point recently, but um, I have my post review video for you guys today. I am so excited. This piece turned out stunning. So what I'm gonna do is just go over the piece with you guys, go over the drills, take a look at my logbook, do a fun little quick recap video of my thoughts on this painting and what I liked, what I didn't like, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is just show you guys an overview of the canvas. So I'm gonna insert a clip here of the completed canvas because it is simply impossible for me to get it all in frame um, on the camera, so. Um, as you guys can see, this piece is an interesting mix of like browns, blacks, browns and blacks, as if there's more than one black, browns and black in like the background and like some white and like gray, and then some pops of like mint green um, with other little pops of like pink in the moths. And you guys, this piece is super duper stunning. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed working on this piece. There's a few notes though that I have in my phone that I do want to talk about. Um, let me just pull it up quick. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to say is that this piece, you might not think it just by looking at it, maybe you can, I don't know, but there was a lot of confetti in this piece. So there also was some color blocking, but not as much as you might think. I would say the most color blocking was over here at the top at the very very top there was a lot of black okay i also want to say that i used my single placer and single placed 95 percent of this piece i gave up during the last five sections over here because it was so much color blocking um but i don't think i would fully single place another piece again um i think that was a lot that was very ambitious but i did do it for majority of the piece but anyways, this piece is super duper confetti heavy. Um, let me just actually show you guys, I'm just gonna attempt to show you guys the bottom of the canvas, yeah. So her hair specifically, this is like five different shades of green, um, which was insanely fun to work with, but also like really confetti heavy. And then also confetti heavy um, was going back down a little bit was the entirety of the sky. There are like four or five different shades of brown and then black mixed in throughout the sky. So that made for a very confetti heavy experience. So don't go into this piece thinking that it's gonna be a crap ton of color blocking because it actually isn't a bunch of color blocking. I thought it might be going in. It's totally not. Like of course you do a color blocking sections like this hat was color blocking, um, the dress over here was actually a lot of black and over here was a lot of black. So there was some color blocking, but for the most part, oh no, I just um, I accidentally pulled a drill off with my finger. I'm just gonna pop it back in. Oh my goodness. We're good. <laughs> We're good, that happens sometimes. I try not to mess with it too much. Of course, when I'm filming this post review, I'm like moving this up and down the table, but I'll try not to move it again. So, um. Yeah, that was my thought, first thought. Um, and then my next thought I had written down was the skin tone. So I'll just bump it back up a little. Nothing crazy, because I don't want to pop out any more drills. Um, the skin tone was weirdly really, really pink leaning. And I, I don't know if I love that. Um, I know this was a common complaint with this piece specifically for Diamond Art Club and um, and just the original artwork, and I'll show you guys quick the original artwork in my logbook. The original artwork, it doesn't really look like the skin tone is very pink, so I'm a little bit confused why they rendered it to be pink. I feel like they did this also with Big Sis when I did that piece. I just feel like they, they tend to make skin tones a little more pink. I think that's just 
what you get with Diamond Art Club. I don't think it turned out bad, especially from a distance. It's a little hard to tell. Like on camera, it's quite hard to tell, but in person, you like you can tell these are like straight up pink tones that I used on the skin. That was just a little thought on that. Um, and then the last thing I actually wanted to show you guys is look what I had left over. I had a full bag of 310s left over and I, there we go, now it's focusing. I had a whole bag of 310s, which is black left over. This piece came with seven bags of 310 and I only needed six and I was honestly kind of bitter because I didn't even need the last bag of six, of six, the last bag of 310 until the very, very, very end. Like I almost got away with not having two of them being used, but you guys, I'm so happy I have an extra here. So that's exciting. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that I had a lot of black left over, but that was kind of my overall thoughts on the canvas. So what I want to do next is actually pull up the the tray of drills and look number one at this beautiful spread of colors. This was such a fun color palette to work with. You have a lot of, like I said, browns and black and things like that, but then you also have a really good mix of greens. And then the moths were like a fun mix of greens, blues, pinks, brown, it was just really fun. So as for special diamonds, um, we had one AB in this kit and it was the number 100. So it is just this beautiful like olivey green color. There wasn't a ton of this in the piece at all. This piece was definitely more fairy dust heavy. Um, so I have a lot of, I mean, not a lot. I mean, I have a small-ish container of 100s left over, but I will be keeping them because you just never know when you're going to run out on a future project or want to add. I haven't gotten bold enough to add anything to other projects yet, but never know. Could happen. And then we have two fairy dust drills, which are basically glitter coated drills. So this had Z369, which I'm actually going to flip it this way. Maybe you guys can see it like a little bit better. Just this mint green fairy dust drill. And you guys, there are so many left over in here, if you guys can see. Um, so I'm definitely keeping the fairy dust drills also as extra because they're so gorgeous. Would not want those to go to waste. And then we have Z3865, which is a white fairy dust. So flip it over this way so you guys can see. It's a little hard to see. Oh, no, actually, it's focusing. So we just have some white fairy dust drills as well. But overall, I really loved working with these drills. Um, I believe this was a mix of the... I'm gonna say it wrong, but basically they have two different faceted drills. One that's, like, newer, and I'm gonna say, like shinier maybe i can't think of the right way and then there are some drills that are older drills that are still sparkly but they're a little like i'm gonna say call them thicker and chunkier like they're a little bigger not bigger like on the canvas but they're like fatter to work with that, i don't know if that makes any sense <laughs> but this had a mix of the two different kind of drills um and i did not feel at any point in this piece that i was gonna run out of any color i got a great amount of every color especially black I mean look how much black I have left in the container here and then on top of that I still had another bag which I'm glad they gave me a lot of black because blacks are the most trash pro a uh, trash prone I'm not one to keep my trash um, if I find trash that's really unusable I throw it away um, I know some people keep their trash I don't keep it for these video purposes but um, yeah, no, I honestly didn't find too much trash. And honestly, even if I do find trash, like if there's a small hole in the drill, sometimes I'll just use it. Honestly, like you can't see it in the overall overall painting when it's done, especially at this large of a canvas. So yeah, didn't really bother me. But yeah, there was plenty of every color. Never felt like I needed to run out or like I was going to run out. Um, as for the skin tone, the skin tone was actually a mix of, and I, I thought this was kind of dumb, um, it was a mix of the 5 and the S, and number one, the pink, this is like really pink, so we have the 5, which, look at the symbol, okay, 5, and then we have S. Can you guys see my dilemma? <laughs> <laughs> they were really, really hard to tell apart. I didn't love having those two symbols next to each other. I found that very challenging to work with. But then also we had E, which is actually more of a, like, not pinkish skin. So this one actually worked out. But yeah, I don't know. 
I just thought the skin was really pink, but yeah, those are the drills and I'm just seeing if there's what else I need to go over with you guys. Um, if anything else on the, um, on the tray, um, okay. Yeah, no, I guess that's it for the uh, tray of drills. So this was a fun, fun color palette to work with. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to go over with you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in on this a little bit, is I'm going to go over my diamond log book with you guys. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I keep a diamond log book basically with every single one of my completed pieces in it. And um, at the beginning of the log book, I actually keep a running list of my stash. So, and I actually did not do this, but I need to take a highlighter and highlight Luna Moth Witch because I just completed it. But um, anyways, so just going over the stats, this was Luna Moth Witch by Rita Kanya. I started this piece on August 22nd, 2023 and finished it on October 20th, 2023. So it took me almost exactly two months, which is not bad at all considering I was single placing the entire time. Um, but I purchased this piece on... July 8th, 2023, like I said, started it August 22nd, 2023, finished it October 20th, 2023. This was a square diamond painting kit. Um, it had square diamonds. I purchased it from Diamond Art Club. I kept this piece. I'm thinking I'm gonna hang it in my bedroom, actually. I haven't gotten the frame yet. We'll worry about that whenever. Um, but this had 68,320 diamonds, which I... Um, I think I had mentioned maybe in like some sort of diamond painting video recently, I was wondering if, um, actually, I was wondering if the piece I picked out for my next painting was bigger than like these other pieces I've done, but this is not the biggest piece I've done this year. Um, there are 40 colors in this kit, 1AB, 2 Fairy Dust. It is a 22 by 30 inch or a 55.8 by 76 centimeter kit. And that is my seventh kit that I've completed in my entire life and in 2023 because I started diamond painting this year. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this post review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am beyond excited to go ahead and start Springtime Splendor by Randall Spangler Diamond Art Club. I will leave my unboxing of that kit down below if that's something you're interested in watching. But I'm very excited to get started on that kit here tonight. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys!